Hello, I am Sujoy and after a long time I am back with another tutorial on Operations Research or OR. I have already uploaded 46 videos on Operations Research covering Transportation Problems, Assignment Problems, Queuing Theory, Game Theory, Network Analysis or Project Management and Linear Programming Problems or LPPs in details covering almost all the topics in them. And I have already uploaded three videos on simplex method. First video was on solving simplex method of maximization type. Second video was on how to convert a primal problem to an equivalent dual problem. And my third video was on solving a simplex method of minimization type by solving standard method, not by duality. And today in this video, I will tell you how to solve a minimization type problem by simplex method using the duality in simplex method. So in this video you will learn how to find out the dual of a primal problem, how to find out the standard form of equations, how to find out the matrix form of equations, how to construct the simplex table and I will also explain the simplex table in details and how to find out these values and next I will tell you how to find out the optimal solution to both primal and dual problems. So this video will be a little lengthy covering almost all the concepts you need to know about the duality in simplex method. So I will divide the video in three parts. This is the first part and the second and the third parts will be uploaded simultaneously and link to them is given in the video description below and also will be embedded in this video itself. So if you want to watch the second and third part after watching this part, you can click the link given in this video that will direct you or also you can click the link given in the video description below. And also in the video description, I will provide the link to all of my operation research playlist covering the total 46 plus 3, 49 videos. So it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this. So if you appreciate my effort, please like and share the video that will definitely encourage me. So I hope you will enjoy this video. So let's start the video. So our question or our given objective function is minimize z or mean z equals to 14x plus 18y. This is called the primal problem or our original problem. We will convert our original problem or primal problem into an equivalent dual problem. The primal problem and the dual problem are just like opposite sides of a coin. Both are basically same because the dual problem is constructed with the data of the original problem or the primal problem. We will not add or subtract any data from it. First, we will convert the standard minimization problem which is given in the question into a standard maximization problem which is given here maximize w which is the dual and the original minimization problem is called the primal problem and the corresponding maximization problem is called the dual problem. Remember the original problem may also be of maximization type. In that case the dual will be of minimization type that is just the opposite. So here our primal problem is of minimization type so our dual will be of maximization type. One more thing to remember, the maximization of dual problem is the minimization of the original primal problem. In our case, the original primal problem is of minimization type. So instead of finding the minimization of the original problem, if we find out the maximization of the dual problem, that will be equivalent. So that is written here. And one more thing is dual of dual is primal that is if you are given a dual problem then if you dual or find out the dual of that problem you will get the original primal problem so remember this trick for exams in exams if you are given a dual problem and you are asked to find out the original primal answer then you can dual that dual problem and you will get the primal answer so so that's enough for theory. Let's do solve our problem. So let's analyze our problem. 
Our objective function is minimize z equals to 14x plus 18y subjected to 4x plus 3y greater than or equals to 5 and 7x plus 6y greater than or equals to 21 where x and y both greater than or equals to 0 and they are called the non-negative constraints that means their value cannot be negative that can be 0 or greater than 0 and one more thing to notice that in our original question it is of minimization type and in minimization type questions the inequalities will be of greater than equals to type so both the constraints or both the inequalities are of greater than equals to type which will be opposite in case of maximization type problem in maximization type problem the constraints will be of less than equals to type so also in some questions you can also get equal to type constraints where it can easily be converted into two subsequent greater than equals to and less than equals to type constraints that means and equal to type constraints can be broken down into two constraints where one will be of greater than equal to type and another will be of less than equal to type so now we will convert our original primal problem into the dual problem so the dual of the above problem is maximize w equals to 5p plus 21 where the value 5 comes from the right hand side of our first constraint in our original primal problem and the value 21 comes from the right hand side of the second constraint in our original primal problem subjected to 4p plus 7q less than equals to 14 as i already mentioned if the objective function is a maximization type the constraints will be of less than equals to type so basically the dual constraints rows can be formed by reading the columns in the primal problem so our first column in our problem problem will be the our first row our first column is 4 and 7 which will be our first row in dual and our second column is 3 and 6 which will be our second row in our dual problem and this 14 or right hand side is obtained by this objective function and similarly this 18 goes to 18 at this position and p and q are greater than equals to 0 they will not be of less than equals to type they are always greater than equals to that means the values of p and q are greater than or equal to 0 if you want to know how to form a dual problem please do watch my 24th video on operation research where i have explained how to form a dual problem from a primal problem and now focusing on our dual problem the 4p plus 7q is less than equals to 14 and 3p plus 6q is less than equals to 18 so since the lhs or left hand side of dual inequalities this is inequality number one and this is inequality number two are smaller than or less than equals to type then the right hand side since here is the less than symbol we need to add something to the left hand side to get the equal to sign we can assume that the left hand side is smaller since it has a less than type symbol so we need to add something to the left hand side to get the balanced or to get the equal to sign so the variables added in case of less than equal to type constraints are called the slag variables and after adding the slag variables that is r and s we get 4p plus 7q plus r plus 0 into s equals to 14 in our first inequality we will add the slag variable r and in our second inequality we will add the slag variable s and the variable s is not added in the first inequality so it is multiplied with 0 and the slag variable r is not added 
to the second inequality so it's multiplied with 0 so after adding the slack variables r and s we get first inequality transformed to 4 plus 7 q plus 1 r plus 0 into s equals to 14 we have now got the equals to sign and our second inequality which is transformed to 3p plus 6q plus 0r plus s equals to 18. And our objective function will be maximize w or max w equals to 5p plus 21q which is already here plus 0 into r plus 0 into s. Remember the slack variables does not affect the original objective function. They are just used to get the equals to sign or to get the inequalities balanced. That is why they are added with the objective function with multiplied with 0. Till now if you have find this difficult please pause the video and take some rest and then come back.